everyone. Welcome to another Overrated Film Saturday. Um, I'm going to be uploading this video today because um, Friday as well as Saturday and Sunday I will not be here. So without further ado, let me address um, the Overrated Film. Technically, I guess you could call it a series because there was multiple films that um, were spawned. Uh, that basically revolve around the same thing. Um, I guess being sequels, so to speak. Uh, and that is High School Musical. Now, some people might be saying, well, there was a lot of backlash from this because uh, apparently a lot of people did not particularly care for these films. Um, yeah, but they did make a lot of money and they sparked, I think, a lot of the sequels. So... Um, I usually don't like to do these overrated films where I say it's overrated just because, uh, just because of critical praise or of, um, audience praise. I try to kind of mix it up, so some films that I discuss will have both critical as well as, um, audience praise, and then some of them may just be audience or may just be maybe critical. Uh, although I think that's usually fairly rare. Um, but I still think that you can classify certain things as overrated because they were very popular among the general audience. Uh, and High School Musical is pretty much uh, the movie series that kind of um, was uh, created for the new sort of Disney demographic, in other words, the, um, the people that were watching, uh, in particular Disney Channel during this time, and this is when Disney was starting to put a lot more emphasis on their television programming rather on their films, because all of their films were not really making a whole lot of money during the early 2000s, so, and gaining a lot of critical praise, so why not focus on live action and, uh, creating things that actually involve real teenagers, preteens, and kids. Um, so, uh, what really bothers me about High School Musical is how it tries to play itself off as, you know, cheesy, um, but I think fails to impress as far as the cheese is concerned. And Disney is known for doing a lot of cheesy things over the years, especially with their animated films. Even their TV shows, too, um, that were animated did have a lot of goofy elements to it. But the problem with High School Musical is, is, is that it doesn't offer any insight or any interesting kind of characters to back any of that cheese up. And then if you don't have that, those elements um, of a good plot and the characters then all you have is just overblown cheese. And I think that was a really huge problem, and I think that's why a lot of critics were quick to criticize this, and a lot of people in particular didn't care for it, but there was a significant amount of people, I'll say actually within my middle school, who enjoyed the heck out of this stuff. Um, personally, when I first saw it, when it came out, I could barely sit through it. It was just so obnoxious. The characters were annoying. Um, the songs were horribly written and constructed. I mean, my lord, they just did not um, create uh, any kind of investment on my part um, as far as anything else goes. Um, but uh, I think the reason why it got so much hype when it came out and why a lot of people were sort of praising this uh, was because Disney was trying to do something different. It was trying to create a musical, but at the same time not keep it animated. So it's more hip and with the kids, so to speak. And I felt like, again, they were sort of, you know, trying to market to demographics rather than really looking deeper into the demographics and realizing that hey, maybe we should treat this with a little bit of intelligence and foresight, uh, like we do with our animated films. But nope, 
no, unfortunately, that's not the case here. Um, and then you just see how the quality is just, I mean, it is just like um, a lot of their TV shows that have that came out during the early 2000s. A lot of them not being funny, a lot of them not being engaging. And, and I think High School Musical really did start this sort of trend of thinking that somehow, um, you know, this, this kind of overblown, really badly written um, material was really what people were enjoying and investing in. And I think it got people to, you know, invest in other television shows that came out later on on Disney Channel. Um, and to be honest, as far as anything is concerned, the only ones that I felt at least were trying to make something at least believable was Lizzie McGuire and maybe That's So Raven, but all the other shows are just complete garbage in my opinion. They do not hold any semblance of value to kids or teach kids really anything worth uh, considering. And all the characters are either stuck up, spoiled, or just completely perfect 100% bland angels. Um, and uh, High School Musical, um, not only did it sort of start this sort of trend to making more of these really mediocre television shows um, and kind of, you know, mediocre movie projects of Disney Channel, um, but also it launched people's careers. Uh, think about Zac Efron. Where is he now? Making money doing raunchy comedies. Where is Vanessa Hutchins? Well, look at the movie Spring Breakers. I mean, it, it launched um, careers, um, uh, this particular musical, and the fact that it was such a hit and people somehow saw potential um, with these actors and actresses, even though only really two of them got at least a significant amount of exposure. Um, but at the same time, this was the film that did start it and started the culture rend of, you know, having these kinds of actors and actresses be recognized. Um, because eventually we get uh, Hannah Montana, eventually we get um, Selena Gomez's show, which I don't even remember what it was uh, called, but because that's how little I pay attention to Disney Channel because I just think it's, it's just so unbelievably dumb. Um, but Again, High School Musical was one of the big game changers um, because not only was it a film, uh, but there were multiple films actually, three sequels as far as uh, I know, and the fact that it spawned off sequels just goes to show to you how overly exposed this was and how much um, Disney as a corporation felt they could milk it for, uh, and that's uh, and that's very unfortunate, um, but again, I think uh, High School Musical was the first real kind of schlock um, as far as uh, films go uh, in this regard. I mean, some earlier Disney projects that were kind of TV movies, at least there were some that put in a little bit of effort and foresight. But here, it's just complete 100% Disney cheese with no effort and no in-depth insight, no emotional investment. It is just people smiling and singing. That is the entire movie. That is all it is. And when you have just people smiling and singing, that's not a movie. That's not a performance. That is not... That, that, that's not a way to tell a cohesive story. I mean, or at least a story that has interesting randomness to it. I mean, it just has nothing going for it. And the only reason, I, again, why I think the this got exposure was primarily by the fact that it was trying to incorporate the old with the new. Um, it was trying to put in live action uh, while at the same time keeping to the traditional musical 
uh, type roots, but that doesn't work if you don't execute it properly. <laughs> and as a result, we get what we call a uh, high school musical. Um, and, you know, I think it was completely overdone when it came out. It was so over the top and ridiculous. Um, and I didn't understand what people were seeing in this at all, um, if anything. And I think it really started the disease getting the ball rolling for rolling out mediocrity um, because this one was really uh, successful. Like they did make a significant chunk of change and it launched these two actors' careers, uh, Vanessa Hutchins and uh, Zac Efron. So again, you know, and it's, uh, and uh, it just feels really shallow, hollow and, you know, there's nothing really there to uh, get invested in or excited about. So, yeah, I mean, that's really all I can say, though. I mean, it's it, it, it was the thing that got people to invest into something new into Disney. And again, it carried over into these sequels. Um, and uh, I think the issues that I have with high school musicals is the fact that there's no real depth there's no nothing 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 magical um nothing like what you would expect out of disney's 2d animated musicals like unbelievably just no effort and no talent and just not it's just schlock um corporate schlock um you know that is so pc and so just uh just it's just so, it just, just, it just doesn't try to treat, treat its audience with some semblance of intelligence. It just says, smile and enjoy this. It's so much fun. Yeah, come sing along. Ha! Huh. You know, it just feels like an artificial robot, like smiling at you the whole time. Uh, at least that's how I feel when I watch this uh, musical. Um. And again, you know, I think it kind of started the musical route of making it more for teens. Like we saw Hairspray, which is another, oh, another movie that uh, drives me insane uh, as far as how cheesy it is and how, you know, just generic it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's really ultimately all I can say really about High School Musical. I mean, it, 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 it was a simple formula. And it worked. And the reason why it worked is because people thought that the that what they were getting was really what Disney was about, but at the same time updating their sort of um, approach uh, by using live action as opposed to animation. And unfortunately, I think um, over the years, it's again, it's it's not as popular as it was back when it initially came out. But when it initially came out, it did get a lot of exposure. It did make a lot of money. It did spawn sequels. You know, people got invested into it. And uh, I I really don't see the the anything worth watching from it. Um, but again, uh, I'm sure there's others who have different opinions on this. And I'm totally not saying that those other opinions are incorrect or don't have any validity to them. But what I am saying is, is is that I think a lot of it is overrated due to the fact that it was trying to update itself, but at the same time not put in to any effort with that updating. Um, and I think that's what this is what resulted in Disney producing kind of schlock over the years and not focusing on trying to make good films um, and instead cash in on there. Um, so easy bake, you know, TV shows. But I think that's really ultimately I can say in regards to uh, this particular film trilogy, if you can even call it a trilogy, just, it's just called High School Musical to me. Um, but uh, I, but I am open to whatever anybody else has to say about this. Any questions, comments, concerns, be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year, and hope to see you all in the next video. Take care.